Oh no, we killed one of the zombies! No, this has been a terrible, terrible example of how we're supposed to handle this offense. Zombie, keep chasing me, please. Alright, here comes a zombie. Alright, we might... Is he just gonna stand around now or what? He's just standing! What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to RimWorld Zombie Apocalypse Mod. I'm your host, the Birdman known as Falcon, and this is actually a RimWorld Zombie Apocalypse Mod. You know how? I know that? Well, I mean, other than the mod being installed. But we actually have a couple of zombies up here. Two random zombies. One of them appears to be naked, and the other one has, like, apparently some tribal work clothing or something. I apologize about that. I was trying to get into position here. I feel like I was completely hunched over my microphone right now. Anyway, let's go over here. We also have a couple of visitors, but that's something we should probably worry about. Maybe the zombies first. So I'm going to say um, we send all hands on deck and take care of that right now. I mean, I wanted to test out my defenses down here, right? But that's going to actually require us to lure the zombies, I suppose. Actually, what's well, actually not a bad idea. Let's lure them. Yeah, how about we do that? So who's going to be the, the scapegoat here? I'm going to say it's going to be Fred Durst because he's a pretty good shot. So, Fred Durst, you come along with me. Let's go over here and check out the zombie issue that we might have here right now. So let's see, Zambros are coming in. Okay, they're, they're indeed coming over here. So have they spotted me? Okay, well, Fred's already taking shots, which is not what I'm looking to do. Is he after me? He's attacking me and zombie. They're both coming after me. Great. So, Freddy Durst, let's make sure that you don't, um, kill them. Please, don't kill them. Just lore. Just lore. Just lore, goddammit. How about we just go ahead and undraft him momentarily? I can still command him when he's undrafted, right? No, I can't. Yeah, so he's got to be drafted for the movement of myself. Okay. So, keep coming after me. Don't, don't, don't shoot the zombie. Just get behind the wall. Zombie, keep following Fred. Leave the other people alone. Just come after me, please. Okay, I want to test out... Oh, that zombie is going elsewhere, attacking Lady Gaga. Alrighty. Well, we've probably lost that one. Oh, there is a wall being built, though. So there is that. Keep moving, Fred. Oh, no! They're, they're moving targets now. They're absolutely changing targets. I don't think we would have got it done, guys. We are not going to get this done. And unfortunately, now, the thing is that... Mm, Masahiro. He's attacking Masahiro. Okay, well, maybe we could get Masahiro to draft and run over here. Okay. Oh, no, we killed one of the zombies. No, this has been a terrible, terrible example of how we're supposed to handle this offense. Zombie, keep chasing me, please. All right, here comes a zombie. All right, we might... Is he just going to stand around now or what? He's just standing. Okay, who has a, a long range or a short range weapon? Lady Gaga. Gaga, you come over here and lure. There we go. Now, you guys, my goal is also going to be run over here. Come on. Come on, zombie. There it is. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, he got to that turret really, really fast. And as you can see, he did quite a bit of damage really, really quickly as well. Could that have been because we also shot at ourselves with the um, turrets? Because they can do, like, friendly fire on each other, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Yo, when we actually get a lot of zombies, this might be not good. So I think what we might have to do is actually extend. Like, bring this forward, like, make them longer hallways. This is very close. So I'm going to say we maybe widen this upward and we extend as well. So up and to the right. Just make them longer hallways, essentially. Okay, well, you know, this is good. It's glad I'm glad that we did it this way because at least now we have an idea what to look forward to. So you guys are free to undraft now. And if you guys can, Ludacris, let's uh, strip zombie. And let's go over to... Where is my burying area? My bury area. Down over here. Let's do another grave here for now. And we'll try to get that zombie out of the way here pretty soon. Okay. Well, with that done, let's worry about deconstructing a couple of things over here too. Now. That's not going to bring shit down on me, is it? I'm always really um, cautious about that. Actually, let's cancel at least one of these. Cargo pots, we have visitors, we have an area revealed. Damn right we do. Damn right we do. Let's uh, deconstruct here and here. I think that should keep everything fine for now. Correct? I mean, if something falls on us, then I guess we'll probably figure out, like, hey, that was a bad idea, Falcon. But everything seems pretty cool. Okay. So, with that gone... There should be less um, shade being dumped onto our plants, which is perfect. Haruka, where are you sleeping out here? Oh, no! This fucking rat took Haruka's sleeping spot. 
I don't even like that rat. I haven't even named that rat. He's just rat number one. <laughs> That's no good. Okay, hold up, hold up. How do I set up one for Haruka again? Animal sleeping spot. Jesus, man. Look at that. Who'd have ever imagined we'd have a rat, a bear, and a timber wolf all hanging out together, living in perfect harmony? It's craziness, I tell you. Craziness. All right. So, let's see. That'll get done at some point. By the way, is this designated as a, as a house area? It should be. And speaking of which, I want to give my animals a little bit of a nicer flooring if we can. I like to treat them well, you know? They treat me well, they protect me, I like to do the same for them as well. Let's get this zombie out of the way. Actually, we're gonna need two, um... Two graves, huh? What happened to the other zombie? Oh, we probably just already moved the body to... Ooh, yeah, over there. Okay. So we actually need two graves, actually. Okay, so let's go to Misk and do one more grave. Where is my grave area? Down over here. Okay. A revealed cargo ponds, visitors, correct. You got it. Alright, so we're almost done over here setting this up. Perfect. And this will be easier for us to, like, just to make sure that our plants aren't necessarily, like, you know, set on fire for future raids like we saw in the past, so that's gonna be pretty cool. Now, what's actually really awesome about this, too, it gives me more... Oh, you... you roofed that, huh? Um... I really didn't want that to be the thing here, so how about we go over to zoning area... Re uh... Expand no roof area, right? Yeah. No roof. There you go. It's fine. Okay. Cool. So let's also set up some hauling orders as well. Let's get these rocks out of here. Anything else needs to be removed? Not really. And then we'll probably grow something else over here too. I'm not sure what just yet, but we will figure it out. We will figure it out. Oh yeah, and um, zoning areas. Let's see where my home zones are at. Yeah, see, that should be clean with blood here. Or, not with blood, but the blood should be clean here. Can we, yeah, get that blood out of the way here. Thank you. Oh, that's weird. My smoke alarm is going off right here. Oh, no, the battery's dying. Oh, it's so annoying when the batteries are dying because it's always going to be beeping at me until I get it switched out. Damn it. Alrighty. Hey, look, we're still doing hunting over here, too. Perfect. Okay, so it does seem that zombie bodies have been cleared. Cool. And let's also, well, I was going to say let's put in the door, but we should probably start working on expanding this. So, um, limestone, how much do we, uh, we don't have too much of it. Goddamn beeping, stop beeping at me, please. I'm trying to concentrate here. I guess we'll probably have to use steel, won't we? Yeah, to expand. Alright, so let's go to structure and let's do steel wall and let's, um, bring it down towards here. And we might as well start doing the same thing for everything, really. So, do that. Leave room for the door, and... There you go. Okay. Well, actually, while we're at it... Mmm, I screwed that up. I should have probably expanded this while I was at it, huh? Like, deconstruct this right now. So, yeah, yeah, it's my bad. Cancel this, actually. And, if anything, start deconstructing this area here. So that we can actually make it wider for the future. And we'll try to use all the limestone... Eh. Yeah, let's just use the limestone blocks that we have. So let's actually bring this bad boy up towards, like, here. That's pretty... Eh, I was gonna say, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. That'll give us enough room that we don't have to worry too much about explosions down the line. So we'll do it this way for now. We will, we'll probably have to switch over to um, the steel pretty soon, but that's okay. Alrighty. How's everything else looking, though? Pretty good, huh? Power is being stored up. Sneffy refuses to join. What else is new? I feel like we should probably give up on Sneffy, honestly. Just, you know, release this woman. Doesn't seem like she's ever going to join, really, so... It's kind of more of a hindrance at this point. Cool. So that's going to be extended, and I guess we could probably use the steel blocks or the limestone blocks up here as well. Oh, shit! Collapsing, collapsing, collapsing. I forgot about that. I forgot about that part of the equation. That's what I was worried about when I was building uh, this area here, the collapsing. So, if you guys can, stop momentarily, cancel that, because it's gonna fall in on you. Which is no good. Alright, yeah, just work on this here momentarily, and then we'll figure out the um, proper pillar areas. I know there's like a, a dimension I should probably keep in consideration here. Um, you guys have told me about it many times, like, Falcon, it's um, 10 by 10, 14 by 14, who knows at this point. I have indeed forgotten. Big surprise, I'm sure. Uh, let's haul these if we can as well. 
And let's see. I guess we'll use these limestones for this right here, if I'm correct. Yeah. Let's go over to structure limestone. Like so. Alrighty. I'm liking this a lot better now with the wider area. So we don't have to worry too much about the the blowing up of the walls whenever the turrets go down. There you go. Perfect. How's our plant coming along? Pretty good, pretty good. Bodies have been taken care of. How's our food situation? Pretty good. We have meals stored up. We got veggies stored up. Okay. Um, let's see here. Oh, shit, mad animal. That's from earlier, right? That's not happening right now. It shouldn't be, anyway. A local muffalo's gone mad. I forgot that we even had muffalos in the map. Oh, muffalos, the old school Rimworld monsters, huh? We're not really monsters. I guess animals, wildlife, whatever you prefer to call it. Um, but this one's coming right at me here at the moment. Ludacris, I think you're going to be attacked, so you might want to start getting some bow shots in here. You got one shot in there. He's injured. Uh, Ludacris, you might want to run. Yeah, you might want to run. <laughs> you might want to just get on out of here. Aha! Hey, pretty good shots on Ludacris' uh, Ludacris's part, though. I gotta say. How injured are you? Pretty injured. Let's move back again. Oh, wow. Ludacris isn't missing. Oh, Ludacris brought him... I don't think he missed one single shot. That's actually really impressive, Ludacris. You've been working on your shooting game, it does seem. Well, Ludacris would be a pretty good shot, huh? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean, Falcon? I don't know. You take it for whatever you want it to mean, okay? Um, so, Muffalo moved over there, and we'll probably even end up butchering that. How about that? We got some... Surprise... <gasps> We recruited Sneffy? No way! Hey, good job, Rose! God, that took forever, huh? But we finally got it done. Now the problem is we need a room for Sneffy as well. Luckily, we have something over here for her ready to go, I'm gonna say. So all we have to do is kind of like build around that. But hey, we got Sneffy! God, that took forever, but we happened. We, we got it done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the wall should be technically here, huh? Okay. So let's um bring it down like so and we might as well deconstruct that and what is this still limestone yeah limestone again mm, fine we'll keep it the same thing limestone blocks through here cool and let's put up a steel door for the future for Sneffy's future little room right here great very cool and since nobody's in here anymore let's go ahead and just uh, turn this off no reason for you to be on anymore there it is. Power off. Look at that. Falcon being very, very good when it comes to his power usage. Well, not really good, I guess. I'm getting by, but I, I wouldn't say it's good. Far from good, honestly. Cool. So, I just realized Luder Hey, that's actually pretty cool. You know what? Ludacris happens to live inside the area with the gardening. But that's actually really ideal because he is the gardener. How about that? That just kind of worked out by itself. <laughs> I like how that worked out. It was pretty cool. There was a 0.95% chance of recruiting Sneffy. Jeez, no wonder it took forever, huh? Don't worry, Sneffy. I'll try to get you a room here pretty soon. Gaga's already working on that shit right now. Oh, yeah, we have kibbles for the animals, too, don't we? Now, does this ever go bad? Well, I'm not sure if it does, but... I mean, whatever. Um, speaking of the kibbles, let's see here. Do until you have... 10, right? Now, why is this suspended? Raw food... Why is this suspended here? Do until you have 10. I guess. Oh, I guess it's suspended because we actually have 10. But once it drops, he'll go back to making them, obviously. Alright, that, that makes sense. Now, Sneffy, since you're the new person here, I don't think you have a weapon. Let's find out about Sneffy here momentarily. Gear? You got a shirt and some pants, which is, you know, ideal enough. You don't have a weapon, though. Now, what are you as a character? You are good with animals, good with social, good with medicine. Um, shooting three, melee four. Well, it's not really too impressive, but we do have an extra weapon over here, so... Oh, well... No, I'm gonna say we go with the bow. I'm gonna do the bow because um, the melee weapons really scare me for future zombie attacks, in case we have to, like, start fighting them. I'd rather not get close to them because, obviously, we could get bitten, which is no good. I don't want to get bitten, man. That's never a good thing when it comes to zombie bites. Uh, limestone wall, let's go and boom, boom, boom through here. Boom, 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 and there you go. And let's go to the floors here. My birds are being super loud outside. You can probably hear them easily right now. People are always asking me, like, Fag, what happened to the birds? Never hear them. Well, I'm pretty sure you'll hear them easily with this video here today. I'm gonna go out there and yell at them pretty soon, like, Hey! Keep it out over there! Fag is trying to work. 
Um, let's go to the bed here and set it up like so. Let's get it the old potted plant as well, because why not? And we'll need a light for her as well. Let's do one uh, through here is fine, I suppose. There you go. Minor break risk. It's going to be Sneffy. Don't you worry, Sneffy. You'll have a room pretty soon and you'll be happy about it, okay? You'll be thrilled about it. Bring that goddamn tree down, I said. Bring it on down. It's down now. Great. And this will be for... Autosave happening. This will be for Sneffy. There you go, Sneffy. You got your own room now. How about that, huh? Everybody's happy. We're having a good time with this colony, I gotta say. Alright, so now that the room is done, we are gonna get stuck in here, aren't we? Of course we are. Um, speaking of which, we should start deconstructing this and this and... Well, let's leave maybe that because it might cave in otherwise. You know how it is. You know exactly how the cave-ins work over here. So, start bringing that like that. Limestone, we have like roughly 58. So, let's go back to structure, limestone, and let's bring it down through here. We're gonna run out. So, we'll go up to there, I'm gonna say. And let's see. That's cool, and we'll do... Just for the sake of it, <laughs> steel, because that's steel. Okay. And our door will be right over here. Boom. Okay, and then eventually we'll start setting up the, the turrets properly and stuff like that. So let's go to floors. Let's also go ahead and just um, put the concrete in here that we do require. And there you go. It's probably a lot of use for steel right now that I just did that, but eh, you know, whatever. It is what it is. Uh, speaking of which, Sneffy, I'm not sure why your house is not roofed over, but it should be. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm pretty sure somebody will get to that eventually. If not, you should do it, huh? I'm pretty sure you probably want a roof, don't you? Uh, let's see... Nah, I guess they'll work on it eventually. Somebody's gotta do it, right? Where's my roofers at? Where's my goddamn roofers at? Just come and do it here really quickly, okay? <laughs> Just come and do it right now, where are you going? Are you gonna build the rest of it? Haruka has gotten food poisoning from rice. Oh no, Haruka's always ending up with like food poisoning, doesn't she? It's really unfortunate, my poor bear. My poor bear. Sneffy and Masahiro having a little chat over there. Fred is over there cooking away. Making them meals. Alright. Now, speaking of which, we haven't done any hunting after the initial attack of the does and all that stuff. So, I see a lot of muffalo here ready for the pickings. So let's go to orders and let's do... What do you want, Tablet? Stop hollering at me right now. I'm, I'm busy recording. Let's hunt some muffalos down. Freddy Durst, it's all on you, buddy. It's got Fred Durst written all over him. Okay. And let's see here, in terms of our work orders, what is Sneffy up to? Sneffy does a little bit of everything, it does seem, which is great. Um, I wish he was a, a better grower, because then we could have Ludacris go back to researching. But unfortunately, it's not the case. But Sneffy can do a little bit of research. He's a 5 of 20. Not exactly great, but it'll have to do. You know what? Let's get Sneffy off of whatever she's up to. And let's have her focus on researching for us. How about that? So Sneffy, let's um, just leave firefighting patient and doctor. But we'll turn everything off over here. And you go back to researching or start researching. And let's start working on the... Hmm. Probably Devil's Strand would be pretty ideal, wouldn't it? Smitting, hydroponics, um, tube television, carpet making could be a pretty ideal for the rooms. Let me go to Devil Strand, I'm gonna say. Just because I know that's gonna be really, um, I guess, um, worthwhile clothing for the future. Because even though we have, like, regular cotton growing in, Devil Strand is a lot stronger from what I remember anyway. I just realized we also have a geyser over here, too. Hmm. That might be a problem in the location that it's at. Can we, um, build over this geyser? I don't quite remember that. What happened here? Heat wave. An unusual heat wave has begun. Watch out for heat stroke. Uh, luckily for us, we do have ACs. Well, we had them, but not for the new room. So we have to set up a couple of ACs here, don't we? Let's go to temperature, cooler, and we'll do like that and like that. Just so we avoid that. Um, inside, what's the target temperature that we're going for? 70 is actually pretty ideal for the inside. Colonies needs treatment. What happened to you guys? Oh, they were slightly, they were fighting each other. Oh no. Um, you guys gonna take care of your injuries here? Yeah, Rose. Okay. We, by the way, need a medical facility too, don't we? Yeah. 
So how about this, guys? We're going to wrap it up here. I'm going to start looking at this very closely and then figure out we're going to set up a medical facility for the future because we are going to have to treat our injuries properly. This is not the ideal way of just going into your room and sleeping it off until you're better. Like, you know, it's kind of like, suck it up, bitch boy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave your advice. Always very useful. I will catch you next time.